So I wanted to talk about Eric Bazilian. I first met Eric when I was over at Medley, uh, at the Planet Medley thing, and he brought over the D88, and uh, uh, he had me transfer it into a Pro Tools and show him how to edit. And that, and he wrote that song, What If God Was One Of Us? And it was the basic tracks for that. So I showed him how to edit, and he bought it on the spot. But uh, Eric is the lead singer and the guitar player from the Hooters. And because where he lived, uh, Medley was in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania. And he lived in, I think it was Ardmore or St. David's, you know, someplace around there. But it wasn't far. So he would pop over every every so often. And uh, he built a um, studio in a carriage house behind his his house. And it was a, a beautiful little studio. I, I may have some pictures of it. Uh, and the, the downstairs was the cutting room. And the upstairs was the control room. And he had windows uh, all up across the, the top floor so he could look into the yard. So as his kids were growing up, he could see them, you know, to keep an eye on them while he was doing his music. So he's like a super dad, too, which which is great. But um, I remember one thing that he he introduced me to celery soda, which I didn't even know existed. And he said, here, try it. And I, I tried it and it tasted like carbonated celery. So I was like, okay. And it was kind of a religious thing, I think uh, uh, he was telling me. And then the other thing he introduced me to was uh, vegetable sushi. Never had it. I didn't know what it was. And, and I would go, oh, this is pretty good. So, but super, super talent. And he would make you feel like you're part of the family Whenever you go visit him or he'd come, it's just the energy in the room from this guy is just amazing. It's just the nicest, nicest person, you know, that, you, that you'll meet. And a lot of those guys, um, the egos are, are incredible. But this, he, no ego at all. And I, I think the very, very first time I saw him, I was working at a car stereo place in Center City, Philadelphia. And across the street, I think he had an apartment. And I saw him out of the street and he just immediately just kind of looked down and walked away. I mean, he didn't know me back then, but uh, I think he was just trying to shy away from the the, the public. But uh, we ended up being good friends uh, and uh, his uh, uh, partner in the Hooters, uh, uh, the keyboard player, Rob Hyman, built that big uh, Elm Street Studios and that's where they rehearse and, and record uh, from now on. But uh, Eric's always in his studio too. Uh, I was there one time and he was recording a, a guitar track and he he had the Pro Tools, he recorded the guitar track, then he stopped, picked up a different guitar, recorded the same guitar track. And it, I, I swear it was like five different guitars. And one, the intonation was, uh, was off a little bit and he just kind of banged it and hit it a little bit, got the intonation right and recorded the next track. And it was just like, without missing a beat, went from one guitar to the next, to the next, to the next, to get different sounds. And he, he got the ideas down really quickly. And uh, he's a very quick um, person as far as, uh, you know, composition and coming up with ideas. And also that uh, carriage house that he had in the back there, he would be working with different um, artists. Like uh, I met Amanda Marshall, um, uh, who, who did this great album, Tuesday's Child, and it's a bunch of songs that Eric did with her. And I met her at, at the, the studio when they were using that Velvet microphone. But he he got hired to work with a bunch of people as a songwriting team and always incredible stuff. Uh, he even played me some stuff that I was like, oh, what did he do? He did He did a song for Billy Idol. And he played it for me. It was fantastic. And I don't think it ever got it ever got released. But uh, very, very cool stuff. So I'll, I'll see if I can find some pictures of his studio and, and, and post them. But if I can't, just just the point, uh, the story is meeting him and uh, what kind of person he is. And, and he, like I said, bought a ton of gear, too. Uh, so there you go.